Hello and welcome to Using Creo. Now what we're going to cover today is not so much about the modeling of this clock. Now it might be argued to say that, you know, I said I was going to show everybody how to model the clock up and I am, I'm getting there. But uh, I also like to address the questions that come up while I'm doing things. Now, you'll notice one thing I just did here is that I had it zoomed out and I hit a key on my uh, keyboard and it was F and it brought it zoomed in all the way. And also if I hit A, it brings in that view. S, I bring in that view. W is this and uh, Q is this. So these are sort of like the keyboard shortcuts that I like to have. But I had to program these. And um, I recommend that uh, everybody figures out what you can do for programming the keys and make things so that it's it's handy. You know, it, it definitely speeds things up if you can quickly click on a key. Like if you're in an odd view and you just want to straighten it up like that and then zoom it out, you can do it very quickly. Now, you can go through the menus and do that, but you can also set things up so that you have um, keyboard shortcuts to do all this. And I recommend a lot of people um, come in and take a look at the settings come in here and click on UI and I covered some of this in, in prior settings on different views and colors and and those sorts of things um, you know come in and take a look at some of the back end stuff and if you don't know what it is just make note of what you're changing and change it and then uh, if you notice that it did something you didn't want to do is go back and refer to the note of what it was originally and just change it back but um, this is going to be a pretty short and sweet episode, but I'm going to show you how to do the customize. And of course, I kind of talked over it while I was doing it. So you click on the file tab here, come down to customize, and this will bring things up. So with commands, um, you've got different groups like the 2D Copilot. You can modify and add stuff to it if you really want to or subtract stuff if you so much wanted to. The same with the toolbars. You can you know show a different toolbar like... You can look at these quick, this ribbon bar up here, and maybe it's just not something that you really want. Maybe you want to be able to view everything um, in that toolbar at once. So you can bring the toolbars up this way as you come into the toolbars tab, and you know you can do this. And of course, I'm going to be dealing with the view thing. Um, so you've got fit, and you'll notice that um, uh, the keyboard shortcut here is in uh, brackets off to the side in F. Um, and you can start going through some of these and, and take a look. Some of them are default, some of them are not. I believe I actually said F was fit and I just kind of put that in for myself. Now how I did that, very simple. Come to the keyboard, um, look at the group. So I want to create a keyboard shortcut for things in the view. So this is just off the screen, but at the very bottom here in this menu, you see view. Actually here, let's just make this so you can see everything is down here let's scroll down this is view so you click on the view and you've got a lot of different settings and you're going to have to figure out exactly what you want but you know you can zoom out five or zoom into ten and all those sorts of things um you can set up different viewport settings but what i did is i came in here and said view by direction x i did not choose that one but i did do view by direction x or negative x so i put in w so all i did is i come in here press the new shortcut key, I put in W, and it says that it's assigned, it's already assigned to something. So let's see if we can find a key, like P is not used. So it's unassigned and I could just do that and then I'll hit enter and it will change the current shortcut key, right? So, and how you do that is, um, well, let's just change it once and change it back. So I can hit P and say change it to that, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted the W, so I hit assign and that changes that to the viewed by direction X. Um, view Y I don't have, but negative Y I have Q, view Z I have S, negative Z is A, and um, the zoom all, or the, let's see, the, do do do, well you can do the view by face, that one's a very handy one that I would recommend you find a shortcut key, so for that one here, let's, let's see if I choose E, that's not assigned, so I'm going to say that that's good, and um, I'm trying to figure out where's one of these up here, well, let's just um, let's go back to the commands or the toolbars. Let's go to the view. Let's show that. And what is this called? Fit. There we go. And there's kind of a, a brain folly. So all these are alphabetical. So there's the fit. And you can change that to whatever you want. But you'll recall that just recently I did the um, view to the face or view by face. Let's see. And I have that as E. So... Let's see if that works. Let's close that down and we can go and view things different ways. So let's rotate around here and say, oh, wait a minute, I want to do that and I want to view it by face. So let's hit E and it brought it in. 
Now this one works a little differently than I had originally expected. Let's see something. Let's zoom it out here. Let's choose this face. And I have the E selected and it just automatically goes. You can see that it has the X here. So it's a command that actually comes alive and then any face I click on brings it around to whatever I want. This could be pretty handy in one sense that I can come to this face, orientate the model this way, and you'll notice that it came in square to that. But if I have it orientated more upright and I click on that face right here, and that this doesn't seem to work. Let's see there. Let's hit E and we'll click on that face and it brings it in nice and square. Then I can hit the F key and have everything load up properly. So there's a quick and dirty trick on basically how to set things up for views is just to make sure that you come into file, go to customize, go to keyboard. Um, and again, this works with pretty much all the other kinds of uh, commands that you have in here, the 2D copilot and all sorts of different things. But of course we're dealing with the view. So let's scroll down to the view and we'll go down to wherever I had it originally. Oops. Oh, I see what I was scrolling through there. This is one thing where the, uh, the scroll button was working against me. So we'll go to view, then let's click outside of that so that if I hit the scroll button, it doesn't go where I don't want it to. And of course it does exactly that. So I'm got to select right within this, this other window just to make that work. And of course you choose what you want, like say view direction X, type in the key here, hit the assign button if it's not already assigned, and that will give you your views. So again, this was a short lesson today, um, and hopefully that's helped you out. Um, I will be back next week, just a little busy this week, So, but I still wanted to make sure that I got you a good tip and a trick. So there you go. That is how you can customize your views to keyboard so that you can start uh, getting different views that you need when you need them. Anyways, again, hopefully that's helped you out, and I'll talk with you guys next week.